Hello everyone. Um, this topic I'll be talking about Tom Brenneman, what happened. I know there's a lot of people who are instantly judging him and he's not what people think he is. All them people out there bad mouthing Tom Brenneman. I don't know a whole lot about him, but I did clean his carpet, I don't know, a few years ago, quite a few years ago, I don't know, six, seven years ago. And um, I worked for a carpet cleaning company back then, and we, me and my helper in the office the company I was working for found out I was cleaning Tom Brenneman's house. We was all excited, you know what I mean? So we cleaned the carpet in his house, his furniture. You know, I cleaned all the carpet in his house and his furniture. And uh, I even deodorized it for him and everything. He's a, he's a real nice guy. I mean, he's a business businessman, basically. Very professional, very nice, very warming, you know what I mean? And the whole time I was there for two or three hours, he was a very busy man, you know, getting his stuff done he has to do. He don't live in no big $2 million home. He don't drive no $200,000 cars. You know, he's like a normal, lives normal. Normal house, normal cars. So the whole time I was there, he was real nice, real professional. You know, he didn't cuss or bad mouth talk about things. And, you know, he's just very professional. You know, he, you know, he's, uh, you know, I missed that voice. He's a voice of the Cincinnati Reds and Fox NFL. You know what I mean? So, yeah, he even gave my helper, me and my helper, a $120 tip. We didn't ask for it. He just pulled mine in his pocket and paid. Very generous, very kind man, you know. You know what I mean? I hope he gets his job back, you know. And, I mean, I can see it in his face that he's very upset what he did. But I think he deserves a second chance, you know. So, I know he has a lot of haters out there, but... You know, the guy's human, just like anybody else. Makes mistake, made a big mistake. You know what I mean? He shouldn't ruin his career over it, you know what I mean? You know, I know they suspended him, but you know, I think they should bring him back and give him like a probationary period if he does anything. Again, then, then let him go. But I, I say give Tom a second chance. I mean, the guy's very nice, very professional, neatly dressed. His house is immaculate shape, you know what I mean? Very nice, I mean. Very nice person, business businessman, I call it, professional, always neatly dressed, clean shaven. I mean, he's a very nice guy, very generous guy, you know what I mean? So that's you know, the time I, you know, I met him and doing his carpet cleaning in his house and his furniture cleaning and everything. You know, he's got a housekeeper there, helps him around there because he's, he's a very busy man. He's never home, he travels all over. You know what I mean? And uh, he lives normal. You know what I mean? He's not a real richy guy. He lives normal just like anybody else does. You know what I mean? But all the people out there are bad mouth of him, he should be fired. Now I think he deserves a second chance, but like I said, he's a, I like him. You know what I mean? He's a very nice guy. You know what I mean? He follows his dad's footsteps. That's why what he wanted to do. And he's got that professional voice for the radio and television, you know what I mean? It's nice, you know I mean? It's, uh, he's been doing it for, what, 27 years? Always showed for work. He's always there. So, yeah, I think he deserves a second chance. You know what I mean? I know he's upset. I can see it when he apologized. He's very upset. He's very upset what he did. I can see it in my own eyes in that when he said that on TV. So... He, you know, it wasn't done intentionally, but he made a mistake. We're all human. You know what I mean? Give the guy a break. You know what I mean? But that's my thoughts on Tom Brenneman. So, like I said, he's a very, he's a businessman, very generous, very kind, professional, neat appearance. He's got that voice of the radio, TV, very professional voice. He's good at it. You know, he's been doing it for a long time. Always shows up for work. He just made a big mistake. I don't think, you know, that mistake he did should ruin his whole career. You know what I mean? I think he should get a second chance. But that's my thoughts about it. I hope, Tom Brenneman, if you're listening, that you'll get your job back soon. Because I know, you know, that's your income, and I know it could be very hard on you and your family. But uh, that's my thoughts about it. You should deserve a second chance. You should get your job back here soon. I mean, I hope and pray for you you get your job back. 
And like I said, we're human. We all make mistakes. Okay? Thank you. Thanks for watching.